Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your first week of March reading start from the 1st through the 7th of March 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Libra. Let's see what is coming up for you guys for this week time. Um, I will be adding oracle cards in this reading uh, but no charms will be added so stay tuned and um, hold on. Yep, while I shuffle the cards let me remind you it's a general reading it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings so yeah let's dive into the reading let's see what is coming up for the libras for the first week time let's begin temperance uh stay patient uh i feel like you know you might be experiencing some sort of delays in your life uh, but stay patient around it like you know maybe there will be lack of communication maybe there will be lack of understanding maybe there, there will be lack of uh, you know uh, movement forward uh, be that in love work home life situation but yes stay patient around it whatever that is like you know going slow just let it be uh, don't overthink don't or you know over analyze don't over uh, you know um, don't don't be obsessed around it whatever it is that you have to take slow right now just take it slow it's fine uh, for some of you, um, these delays are going to make you cause, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's going to trigger you taking some decisions in your life, which will not be based on clarity. It will be more on your aggression, your fear, your negative emotions. So make sure while, you know, you are having some delays in your life, try not to make any decisions, especially major decisions of your life. Try to avoid those things. Um, I feel like, you know, you have a strong chance of taking the wrong decision here in your life. If, if, you, if you don't stay patient, uh, you have a strong chance of making a mistake. So make sure you don't take any decision. Don't make any mistake right now because you are thinking over, uh, you know, you are overthinking, you are thinking negative, you are like, you know, imagining and, you know, making stories in your mind around it because you don't know the reality. Maybe you don't have the clarity. So it's it's more like, you know, you are like uh, uh, letting your mind talk to you about it in a negative way. So you just need to stop doing that. Try to relax right now. Let the clarity come in. Try to believe that you deserve something beautiful and that beautiful thing will come to you. If there are delays, it's going to be for your best interest. Stop thinking from that perspective and then you will get whatever it is that you want. But I do see for majority of you, especially in the middle of the week time, I do see you kind of, you know, creating a lot of messy situations in your mind about a specific thing. Love life, work life, home life situation. It can be any other matter as well. But yes, it's all because you are overthinking. It's all because you don't have clarity. And your mind is like, you know, having a negative self-talk right now. Stop doing that. Just let the clarity come in. Something beautiful will come in. Just take it slow. Have some patience around the current situations that you are dealing with right now in your life and let good things come for you. Stop feeling like maybe maybe it's like uh, something is like over. The relationship is over. Uh, I am fired. This and that. It's all in your head. Just know that you 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 deserve something better. Uh, things are slow, but they are definitely moving forward. Um, there is love, emotions, feelings. If there is a love situation that you are dealing with, don't let your, you know, the delays make you feel like, you know, maybe there is no love from this person. Maybe I need to, you know, do this and that. Maybe I need to move on. You don't need to do anything. You just need to relax. You just need to be patient around it and let the good times come in your life. I do see that, you know, things will change rapidly if you stay positive, especially as you end this week time and enter into the next week time. I do see some positive movements coming forward. So stop thinking negative because I do see you starting the next week with a positive attitude towards life, towards this one relationship as well. Something good is going to show up as you reach towards the end of the week. So just stay patient around it. Let's see more cards here. Impatience. Your impatience is causing a lot of trouble here in your life right now. Be that in love, work, health matters, whatever it is that you're dealing with, try to be patient. Again, there is a lot of gossips that you might be hearing around the situations. Maybe that too is kind of, you know, causing you to stress around situations. Relax. Again, relax. Meditate. Relax your mind. Think positive. Use affirmations every time you have a negative mind. Reform, uh, reaffirm, uh, you know, a positive thought. Uh, so it becomes the reality. 
enlightenment uh try to seek some guidance around the situation whatever it is that you're dealing with if you are confused if you are doubtful make sure you and uh, you seek some guidance coming from the universe let's see more cards here prosperity lies ahead just you need to be patient around the situation and you will be surprised to see whatever it is that you're getting upset around you will be getting your 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 you know whatever you whatever it is that you want whatever you desire out of the situation you will get that uh, don't let pride get in your way. <sighs> For some of you, maybe you would feel like, you know, before this person ends a relationship with me, I would end this relationship with them. It could be coming out of this ego thing. Don't do that. This person is not going to end the connection. Just relax. A time to give rather than take. Maybe you're going to feel like you know, it's time to give a shit to them rather than taking their shit. So it's like, you know, that's why you're choosing to do some wrong moves here. Your commitment is being tested. Stay patient. Let this thing fall into place for you. Just don't rush into things. Just relax. Let's see more cards here. The emphasize here would be for you in this week time is stay patient. Don't lose patience over anything right now in your life. Career transition. Your love life, uh, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. For some of you, maybe you or the person that you are dealing with is going through some sort of career transition. Maybe that's why they are not giving you enough time right now. Maybe you are questioning them being busy all the time. Maybe they are having some sort of career transition. You are a natural counselor and many will benefit from your guidance and reassurance. I feel like, you know, whoever it is that you are dealing with, they would get seek help from you as well as your as your guidance is going to help them a lot in the process. So just just relax. You don't have to worry around anything. I feel like, you know, whatever it is that you're wanting, it will come to you quick if you stop worrying around it. So just relax yourself. Uh, unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry left in this connection uh, that is going on. Or to, to keep this connection going on. Now it's very important for you to understand one more thing again. You are thinking negative. Which is making you feel like that. You are feeling like maybe your person is not giving you time. Because they are no, no more interested in me. But in actuality the reality is not that. The reality is that your person is busy somewhere. Maybe they are going through a transition in their career. Maybe they are going through some major changes in their life. You really have to open up to the possibilities like that. But why do you always think negative? Maybe they are dating another person. Maybe this. Maybe that. That's not the reality. That's just your fear talking to you. So true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, they are yours and they are going to be only yours. But you have to stay positive. You cannot let your fears dictate your actions right now because it's just going to take you backward to the time when you were hurt, to the time when you would feel like, you know, I wish I had not said that and those kind of things so just relax and just try to be positive around everything that you do and say right now try to calm yourself try to be patient uh, try to practice patience right now and that will lead you towards what you want so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you link to your personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care Bye bye